Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the four-step problem that is the distinct search frame. Okay, so let's read the problem statement and see. It is here. Okay, so in this problem, a binary string is a string consisting of zeros and one, and we define an island as a substring consisting of all zeros bounded by ones or the ends of the string. For example, in this string days, <clears throat> there are two islands. First is this one, uh, here to here, and second one is here. Because uh, in one side, there is one present, and the other side, it is the end. That's, that's why. Okay. So, note that such thing 0, 0 in the above string is not an island. Because, like, see, let's say we had taken this. So, before that, it is zero. That is not the valid scenario. Either it should be the end or it should be the one. That is the valid case. So, in next case, like what we are given, we are given n and k, and we need to find whether there exists a binary string of length n such that there are exactly k islands in the string. Each island has the distinct length. Okay, so that is the thing. Let's see how can we solve this problem with the examples. So we have one and one, right? We need to have one island. So one island, how can we have like this? Zero. So in the right side, it is ending. Left side, it is ending. That means it is a valid island and the length is also one, it is matching. Yeah, so it is possible. So second case, three, one. Is it possible? Let's see. So what we can have, we can have one, one, then zero. Yeah, this is the valid scenario. One, one, zero, but this is also a valid scenario and this is also a valid scenario and uh, no this is not the valid scenario why because this is one island this is one island so there are two islands that's why this is not the valid scenario right so one one zero one zero one and triple zero this is also the case so let's see when it is not possible Let's try to find. So we have six and three. Now we need three islands of different length, right? So what can let's say we have the island first island here to have length one, then we need to have one here, like so that we can start the second island. Second island we need at least two because one is already done, so we need at least two length. So two zeros. Again, we need to have one because like for a valid island, there should be both ends either ending or having one. That is the scenario. So two islands, three islands, three zeros required. Now, we don't need any one here because that is the end. So the length, if you see zero, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Okay, so we have eight length required, but the given constraint is six. That means it is not possible. That is the case. But if, if it is eight instead of six, then it is possible. So how can we solve this problem? Let's come to the point. So the solution is very simple that we need distinct distinct length island. That means we need three islands. So first can have one length, second can have two length, third can have three length, and so on. Right. So you know this is the summation. A summation, you know what is the formula, like or you can calculate by loop, or you can directly do like this. So here 
this is the formula and our value is k here right so we can do k into k plus 1 divided by 2 that will be like how many zeros you required and for distinguish like three islands there at least there should be two ones because one end will be the starting another end will be the ending but here you have zero so you need one here here we have two zero you need one here and then again right so this is one island this is another and that is the one okay so we have three islands so at least we require two so this value plus k minus one k minus one and this is also k by the way this is also k so just do not confuse we have k into k plus one divided by two plus k minus one separately if this value is equal to or less than this n then answer is possible otherwise it's not possible so let's see the code for this okay so what we need to do take the input calculate the length required and it is k into k plus 1 divided by 2 and we need to add k minus 1 that is the required length that is the minimum possible required length and if it is less than equal to n then yeah we are good answer is yes otherwise our answer will be no we don't have any choice okay hope you understood this solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding